Good morning, good afternoon, good evening all over the world. Yesterday I told you that I was going to go pick up some, these are actually champagne goblets, I don't know what you call it, but uh, anyways, I think I may have gotten something here. These are 925 sterling silver, and then there's a surprise also. The stem piece is ivory, very nice actually. Look at the reflection on that, that's gorgeous. Anyways, I was uh, kind of doing some evaluations here. Let me show you what the bottom looks like. So the first thing you'll notice, I don't know if I can get it to focus. There it is. Let me turn it over that way. It says uh, Tiffany Sterling. And then you turn it, look down at the bottom. It says W.T. Wetzlar 925. And it's got like a little crescent there. It might be like a little rose or something. And then I noticed on every one of these... If you look right here, it looks like he scratched his initials into it. Can't really tell what that is, if it's L-E-T or L-C-T. I've looked at each one of them and I can't tell. And I don't know if that's actually, you know, the owner that bought these. But let me show you what I've got. So I got my little scale here and it's 4.5 ounces. So I'm estimating you know, maybe this is uh, four ounces of silver and a half an ounce of ivory, but I did some I did some pricing yesterday on sterling silver. Okay, so here's a uh, silver calculator, and you got to be careful to make sure you're looking at uh, what percent uh, sterling silver do you have. This is a 92.5 percent, and so here's a simple little calculator. So in this case, I'm estimating we got four troy ounces. This is the uh, current silver price that's automatically populated, you know, whether in U.S. dollars or uh, Zimbabwe uh, or Venezuelan uh, hyperinflation. Uh, but anyways, this would indicate four ounces uh, would calculate out to 63.23. So I've kind of looked all over the place to try to find out, you know, what the cost of ivory is. And this is, there's actually a trade ban, so it makes it very difficult to identify what the cost is but this is the only thing that I could find and it says uh, for a small figurine it could be $300 uh, to $450 for a puzzle ball and then it goes up from there to uh, uh, pretty substantial uh, prices so I don't know what to say you know I could I could say maybe it'd be $200 for each one of these stems but that would be 1600 bucks just for the ivory and then uh, 63 uh, 23 times 8 so there's uh, 500 bucks of silver now I did uh, some simple testing here and one of the things you would do like down on the bottom to me that looks like silver this up here I thought might have been a different uh, material um, but I've got a unbelievably strong magnet this is actually something that you hook onto your grill and then you can hold you know like your spatulas or other things and you know staplers today are not all metal there's only that middle part but you can see this grabs right through the plastic and and does that now uh, this is a stainless hose clamp this is another little test stainless is mildly attractive depending on what grade of stainless um, so this is probably 400 series stainless the fact that it's attracted by a magnet but it's just mildly attracted and I went ahead and I looked tried everything on here and I couldn't get anything to work and then surprisingly even on the bottom there's these uh, nuts and you know what those nuts they made them out of sterling silver because I can actually see that they're tarnished and everything so I'm kind of shocked but there's no attraction at all this thing should uh, kind of um, grab it unless it was um, might be 300 series stainless I think that uh, doesn't have any uh, attraction at all to a magnet but anyways I, I like the um, the decorative part of this there's like a rope I think they call it so I did a little research and there's actually a book that I've ordered and I, I found it for significantly less expensive than this I think it was $29 from a bookstore so that'll be in the mail shortly but the Jewish Wetzler family from Munich had a renowned silverware shop with an adjoining workshop founded in 1875 and located in Maximilian 
I don't know what that is, the famously elegant promenade in Munich. Their work was based on their own, as well as a range of artist designs. In 1938, the family was forced to abandon the business due to the ethnic cleansing in Germany of all Jews throughout the Second World War. They emigrated to London, thereby escaping persecution, but losing their livelihood. Brothers Friedrich and uh, Leonhard Kleeman benefited from the family's departure, carrying on to shop in the workshop in the post-war era. However, the influence and art artistic legacy of the Wetzler family was lost, forgotten in time. The purpose of this volume is long overdue celebration of their wonderfully creative and original silver work to set up in its historical context. A recognition of their importance and influence in the history of silver craftsmanship and design. So what, what's really interesting is when you read this, it talks about Leonhard Kleeman, and I gotta go back and look to see if maybe you know, one of the letters looked like an L. Maybe that middle one was a K. I don't know uh, what the other one was, but maybe this was this person that did it. He carried on later, but I'm trying to get a time period because it would be really interesting if I was able to get, you know, from this uh, 1875 to 1938 time period, that would put this, you know, over 100 years old. If it was done by this guy, it could have been significantly later. So that's the that's what I'm working towards. Now I found that there was a museum exhibition back in 2014. And I've actually tried to communicate with a curator to try to find out if uh, there's anybody that I could talk to about these particular pieces and get more information. Because So I think you'll be shocked um... He had these listed at $1,200 for all eight of these, and I paid uh, $500, and that would work out to $62.5 each, which is kind of, I roughed it out saying, I think that's the melt value of the sterling, not knowing for sure that that was ivory or even what the value of ivory was. So right now, I think uh, the melt value including ivory is probably $160 but because of the probably the rarity of these I may end up being able to sell these to a museum or something we're gonna find out I'm gonna work on this a little bit but these are these are really nice sets not sure I'm still not sure I'm even gonna sell them because I think this is just too dang nice It's probably one of the nicest things I have right now I mean these are gorgeous don't you think Anyways, I thought you'd be interested. This is, uh, I mean, you got to look around. You might find stuff. This is something I probably will never sell. I'm, like I said, I've turned into more of a collector, but I'm not. It's kind of risky when you're buying stuff from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you don't really know, you know, any history. He didn't have any paperwork on the things. He had these wild tales that these were built for some doctor probably approaching 100 years ago. And uh, that he originally had paid like $10,000 for a set of 10. Uh, there's only eight now, and so who knows? Who knows? This is a very unique set. I do not think these were ever in production based on the research I've done so far, so this is a very unique set to any what anybody else may have, have at this point. I thought you'd be interested. I'm, I kind of dabble. I've talked to you before about buying silver flatware if you could, uh, you know, pick it up at a good price, but this is... 100% um, from what I can tell so far. It's not plated. It's 100% 925 silver and uh, with ivory, which is a bonus. So that is a really sexy looking glasses. Well, I hope this was interesting to you. Uh, anybody that has any information on this that sees this video, please uh, respond in the comments or you can go to my channel in the About tab and I've got my email listed. I'm definitely interested in trying to gather as much information as I can on this because they, they just look so unique and I'm trying to date them and everything else. So anyways, uh, hope everybody's treating you well. I hope you're doing well. Do the best you can. God bless.